Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be building this entryway storage system for my house. It is rather functional, it has hooks, a seat, a cubby system and a shelf. And it does have a rather interesting look to it, I think. Um, so I've been needing to do this forever and I'm so glad I finally got to it. So let's jump right into the build. So for this whole project, I'm using cherry in the form of hardwood and plywood. I figured it would be nice to include a shelf at the very top of the unit, so I'm cutting up some boards here that will be the width of the piece. So doing a simple glue up here for this one shelf and I'm using cherry hardwood for the shelf as well as the brackets and trim. However, I'm combining this with cherry plywood so altogether it will look rather seamless. And I really like this idea of creating a piece for the house that is all wood. I mean in the past I would have contrasted this hardwood with some white or lighter colors. Uh, but lately I am much more into just the wood and I think it's especially nice next to like a white wall or a light wall. Okay, so cutting up the plywood here and the whole unit will be 24 inches wide, which is the width of these plywood sheets. So I really like built-ins wherever possible. I think it adds such a nice touch to a house. And for this unit, the space where it's going, it's not that big. So I didn't want to have a big bench. But I figured there's enough room for a low and shallow bench that my two-year-old can use when he puts on his shoes and jackets, those kinds of things. So basically I'm making a box here. And I'm using a combination of pocket screws and regular screws that I'm screwing in from the other side, wherever it's more visible. So the top of the cubby section will also be the bench. So obviously I don't want any screws showing uh, from the top down. And that's where pocket screws are really handy. So countersinking holes where I'm going to use regular screws and then putting the plywood in these holding clamps which yeah by far is my favorite way of assembling anything box-like. It ensures that your pieces are square and especially if you're by yourself it's like having an extra pair of hands. Also adding a piece in the middle here, which will create the cubbies. And here I'm using a smaller square to hold it in place, which is great when the other clamp is too big or doesn't work. It's like, I realized that putting a simple box together out of plywood is very basic and not very complicated, but it's always in the details and just making sure that everything is square and spot on um, that's what makes a difference in the end, I think. This will be the bottom of the box, so making sure the screws are countersunk so that they don't protrude into the floor. And then the other side is what will be the seat. And then just testing it. <laughs> so that's the back piece, and that's the little seat. A little quality control, and yeah, it's low, but it's not for me, so I think it will be perfect. Okay, so there's an outlet in the wall where this unit is going and I'm just going to sacrifice this outlet and cover it up. Uh, no problem, I mean I have, I have other outlets to use. But to make sure that I can butt the plywood right up against the wall, I figured I might as well route out a section on the back side so it will fit snugly.
Now for the finish with this whole unit, just go with shellac, which is by far one of my favorite finishes. I mean, it looks nice, it dries quickly, it doesn't smell bad. Of course, other good options would be like water-based poly or maybe lacquer. But just finishing the backside here as well as the cubby unit. Okay, next up, some brackets to support the shelf. So using some more cherry here and cutting up the basic design on the bandsaw. And to create a little design feature, decided to drill a few holes in each unit, which I think just makes it look a little, I don't know, lighter and airier. Next up, finishing up the shelf that I glued up earlier. So trimming it to the exact size. And yeah, it's nice having the luxury of the planer here to eliminate glue marks and clean the board up. Now the thing that can be a little bit tricky, I think, is always how do you, you know, assemble, install something like this in the best way. Since this shelf is going to be positioned rather high up, and it's also going to sit on top of the plywood, I don't mind if it's being screwed into the shelf, because you won't see that once it's installed. Whereas if this was a lower shelf, that might not be the best option. So it can be screwed from the top into the brackets, as well as the plywood. Okay, so time to start assembling this project. We decided to just cut out a section of the trim work to make it easier. But obviously you could always work around that instead. Now it's quite a luxury having a board like this to work with, because that way I can install the brackets by screwing into them from the back side, which is nice, just seamless. And again, using my trusty brackets here, because it's really easy to hold this slightly off while you're screwing it in and not get it completely straight. And then using the same technique to attach the cubby system, just screwing it in from the back. Then I positioned the shelf on top here and just screwed it into the brackets and the plywood. And yeah, that worked out really well. And then it was easy to just put in a few screws to attach the whole unit to the studs. Now you can see the plywood edges and obviously you could use edge banding. However, honestly, if I can use solid wood, I'll take that any day over edge banding. So I cut up some strips of cherry, so I used the feather board and the table saw here and cut up the pieces. And they were probably like, a, I don't know, an eighth, a quarter of an inch thick, something like that. And then once I got all my strips, I used a pin nailer to attach it all around. And this is really like final work that is best to do at the end. So first I was thinking about maybe installing some of the trim around the box and the edges when it was in the shop. But I'm really glad I didn't because sometimes it's hard to take into account like how everything will line up and, and what goes into it. So just better and easier doing this inside once everything else is installed. I suppose the thing about this project, if you're thinking about maybe making something like this for your home, is that there's no part that's particularly difficult. It's just making a couple of different units and then assembling them together. And then the complete picture looks rather nice. However, now we've come to a section that I think is really finishing this piece off. And that's the hooks and some trim work. I decided to go for these oil rubbed bronze hooks. They're pretty hefty, a good size, plus I like how each hook basically has two hooks on it. 
And I really wanted to utilize the full height of this whole unit. So I'm going with three rows of hooks. The lowest one for little hands <laughs> just reaching and the two higher rows for the rest of us. Now to make this unit look just a touch more interesting, I decided to first of all cover up one of the screws that attached the unit to the wall with a trim piece. And then after measuring out and adding hooks on the middle row, I added shadow line trim in between the sections, just for a bit of a design feature. Okay, so when I was first thinking about this project, um, I really wanted to create something that felt rather finished. Like this is like our living room, eating kind of situation. It's not like a, like a mud room that's separate. And the, the built-in bookcase project, some of you guys may remember that, is like right next to it here. So I wanted something that felt like it belonged. Like really nice, but also functional. Um, and I think <laughs> adding the trim, and of course using the really nice plywood and the nice hardwood makes such a big difference. Um, it's definitely on the small side. I mean, if I had the space, I would have liked to make a bigger one. And I realize this is gonna get filled up in no time. Um, but you know, I think it's pretty good. And my kid likes it, he's been using it a lot. And it's the perfect height for him and you know, a little bit to grow into as well. So I think that's gonna work out really well. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions, if there was anything that I wasn't clear about in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Shake hands. Oh. No, shake hands with the other hand. Here, can I shake hands too? Good dog. Hey, Angle Team. Here, check out. Yeah, yeah. Papa. Okay. <laughs>